Let's talk Tanya for the 29th of other. We've been on a little roller coaster the last few days because for a while we've been talking about the value of action and specifically physical action because we need to elevate the physical world. And then suddenly yesterday we find out, but Talmud Torah connected Kulam, the study of Torah is the equivalent of everything else because in a certain way um, we create a very deep, dear a very deep uh, dwelling place for God in this world through studying Torah. So we just transitioned, we, took, we made a U-turn, you know, from talking about the value of action to the value of study. Which is it? Which one is more important? So, let's talk practically. Practically speaking, in halacha, according to Jewish law, which one is more important? So if you look in halacha, it seems that halacha also is a little confused. Why is that? Halacha is as follows. Let's say you're studying Torah, and a, a mitzvah opportunity presents itself. Are you supposed to stop studying Torah to do the mitzvah? The answer is, it depends. If there's someone else readily available to do the mitzvah, then you're not supposed to stop studying Torah. Let that other person do the mitzvah. You continue studying Torah. But if there's no one else available to do the mitzvah, you have to shut your sefer, you have to close your book, and you have to go do the mitzvah. Now, this might sound reasonable, but actually it's a contradiction. Think about it for a second. If Torah study is more important, then it should always trump doing a mitzvah, even if there's no one else to do it. And if doing a mitzvah is more important, then even if there is someone else to do it, why shouldn't I jump at that opportunity to do a mitzvah, which is more important? So halacha itself seems to be somewhat indecisive in this area. But the answer is, the greatest and deepest dir ultimately what, it's, what is it really all about is elevating the physical, which is through a mitzvah. Yeah, in a certain way, there's something, there's a certain area of dir which is accomplished more through Torah study, but when you get down to the bottom line, what is it about? It's about elevating more of the physical world, which is not Torah study. Now, Torah study is higher than doing a mitzvah. Because when I study Torah, I'm bringing down a higher level of godliness upon myself than when I'm doing a mitzvah. And I'm also elevating the, the intellect of my animal soul. But doing a mitzvah is greater. And this takes us back to what we spoke a little while ago, that Dir B'Tachtoinim suddenly teaches us that greater and higher are mutually exclusive. Learning Torah is higher. And therefore, if someone else can do the mitzvah, I may as well stay studying Torah because that is a higher pursuit, and the mitzvah anyways will be done. But if there's no one else to do the mitzvah, I have to, I have to close my, my, my Torah book, even though that what I'm doing right now is a higher pursuit, and I have to go do that which is greater, which is to go and do the mitzvah. Tomorrow, we will conclude our discussion about Torah study, and we will learn another benefit or another greatness which is present in the study of Torah, which is not present in any other mitzvah.